Hello, everyone, and welcome to Unit 2 of our CSS Online Teaching Bootcamp. My name is Vanessa, and I belong to the Digital Learning Initiatives Unit. Uh, let's remember first what you already did in the first unit. You went to the Laulima Hive Mind and created a lesson tool template. That is very important to have in mind because everything that you are doing here you are going to use all these resources in the final creation uh, in task seven, that is the creation of this uh, capstone lesson in the hive mind. So take that in mind. Also, you prepared an introduction using Flip and a discussion using Padlet. So let's see what we have here in unit two. First of all, we have three objectives. The first one is to contribute ideas for increasing student engagement. You are going to do that in our synchronous session that is going to be, uh, let's see here, on September 2nd, Friday. Our second objective is to create a screencast tutorial video to be uploaded to your own YouTube channel. The third objective is to edit the closed caption of your YouTube screencast recording video to ensure good accessibility. Again, you have this uh, light blue box with your to-do list. Uh, the most important task here is the one that is marked with an asterisk, is the fourth one. You need to complete that one uh, to get your certificate. And that one actually requires that you do the, pre the previous one. So you have to do the first one, the second, the third one to be able to finish the fourth one. Okay, you will have again these spaces with in all the information you need to complete your task. For instance, here, choose your topic for your screencast tutorial task four. Maybe you already uh, chose your topic, uh, but you have to think about that because it could be ideal if the video or tutorial that you are preparing now uh, is related to that subject, because if that is the case, you can use that video later in the task seven. Then you have this space that is record and upload your video to your YouTube channel. You have all the information needed to do that. The third space is about the corrections and closed caption subtitles. You will have all the instruction and information to do that. And when you finish all that and you have the link of your YouTube video, you have to go to this document. Let's go there. You have to add your name, the topic that you chose, and the link. If we go back, remember that the due date is September 7th. Again, as in unit two, in one, per, sorry, you have these blue bars that will give you additional information. For instance, you have here many apps that you can uh, use for making your tutorial. Here also, it is very important information about using your YouTube app that is associated with your UH email account. Here you have a link. It is actually very easy. You have to log in, you have to accept some conditions, and that will take you, let me see, to many consumer apps that you can later use in your courses. So this is actually very interesting. If we go back, you have additional videos on how to upload your um, tutorials to YouTube, how to use Loom, um, many resources here you have to explore. You have an additional um, space with many ideas for engaging your students. So I really recommend you take a look. You have a third bar 
And that is very interesting because Laura has shared with you some behind the scenes videos. For instance, in this tab, no, in that, mm, let me see. Here, you see that Laura has shared with you many links to different apps. And here she's explaining how she did that. She also added a video where she explains how to work in the hive mind. So that will be very helpful also for you. As in unit two, you have the survey and you have this important space for questions Please, you are not alone. Let us know if you have questions. We are going to check this space daily. So I hope you, to see you in the synchronous session. Bye and have a great day.